Thank you very much, everybody, and welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let's get to the news and jokes. Well, guys, this is big. Last night, uh, Time Magazine announced Joe Biden and Kamala Harris as 2020's Person of the Year. Yeah. After the announcement, Trump called Rudy Giuliani and was like, forget the election, we're suing Time Magazine. <laughs> Apparently, Time Magazine was like, there's so many worthy people, but who would annoy Trump the most? I got to be honest, I thought it was going to be frontline healthcare workers, especially since doctor's office is the only place you still find a copy of Time magazine. <laughs> That's right, they picked Biden and Harris over Trump. Even worse, the original cover was the two of them going down a ramp. That's, uh, oh, that's like a... I had very slippery shoes on and I couldn't do it. It was very slippery. So Trump and his staff were pretty annoyed that he wasn't named Times Person of the Year, but they, they managed to grab a couple other magazine covers. Let me show you what I mean. Trump was honored by a magazine which covers two of his favorite things, food and wine. <laughs> Michael Flynn received the honor from Better Homes and Pardons. <laughs> Steve Mnuchin was honored by Manuseweek. <laughs> Wilbur Ross was featured on the cover of 117. <laughs> Mike Pence was given the honor from something called This is a Magazine. <laughs> and finally, Rudy Giuliani was featured in Field and Streaming. Yeah, there you go, everybody. Congrats. Congrats to you guys on those covers. Uh, now, this is just wild. It just came out that Trump's chief of staff told the head of the FDA to approve the Pfizer vaccine today or resign. Trump's like, we need this vaccine today for a virus I've ignored since March. We need it today. I think we let the FDA have their moment. I mean, 80% of their job is just putting out lettuce recalls. <laughs> Give them a little something. I got to say, though, in Trump's defense, if the FDA is allowing Pizza Hut's triple-decker box, then this should not be a problem. <laughs> Meanwhile, I saw that Walmart is preparing to administer COVID vaccines at its stores. That's the good news. The bad news is they're going to be given to you by a Walmart greeter. Oh. Hold still. <laughs> or comes the pointy airplane. Oh, I'm going down. I'm going down. Come down with me. <laughs> There's no way I'm getting up. You got to come down here to get the shot. It reminds me of a few years ago when my uncle had a heart valve replaced at Kmart. <laughs> Actually, Walmart's a great place to give vaccines because uh, no one's wearing sleeves anyway. <laughs> Here's some big entertainment news. Uh... <laughs> Here's some big entertainment news. Disney just held their annual Investor Day where they announced a bunch of new projects. Check this out. Disney announces a slew of new original programming. Ten new Star Wars projects are on the way. New Marvel projects are on the way. Plus spin-offs, reboots, sequels for some Disney favorites. Tom Hanks in a live-action Pinocchio. And a Buzz Lightyear origin story. Yeah. Disney's going to release 50 new titles from Marvel, Star Wars, and Pixar. Families in quarantine heard and were like, where the hell was this ten months ago? Come on! <laughs> When the news broke, Netflix was like, well, there goes our show about backgammon. <laughs> yep, Disney's releasing 10 new Star Wars series. Everything from Star Wars is getting a spin-off. There's even a show about the cantina trying to set up outdoor dining. <laughs> Yeah, this is very exciting. Disney also announced that Harrison Ford will star in a fifth and final Indiana Jones movie. That's right. It's a two-hour adventure of him trying to remember where he left his hat. It's like, <laughs> swish it with the idol? Did I? Where did I? Oh, I'm wearing it. At his age, uh, the only giant boulder attacking him is a kidney stone. Oh. What? Well, <laughs> Well, guys, Taylor Swift just released another new album called Evermore, and her fans are going crazy. That is two albums and a documentary in the past five months. She is on fire right now. I just got a notification. Taylor Swift just released a third album. It's called Sycamore. Wow. It's unbelievable. Anyway, uh, she... 
wow, she released the fourth album. It's called Sophomore. How does she have the time for this? Well, anyways, she, her fifth album is called Furthermore. <laughs> Just dropped her. Well, she can't keep this up. I mean, can't she? I mean, she... Her 17th album is called Pottermore. It's a whole album about Harry Potter. It's her 36th album. It's called Julianne Moore. Huh. Wait, Paramore just released an album called Taylor Swift. Well, it came full circle. Well, let's move on. Let's move on. Congratulations, Paramore. And finally, a new survey found that this year, one in five Americans have gotten hurt putting up their Christmas tree. How annoying is that for overrun hospitals? It's like, make room, uh, this dummy fell on his Christmas tree. <laughs> one patient was like, is it bad? And the doctor was like, well, I'm a proctologist, so you tell me. We have exactly six shows left before we go on Christmas break. Is that it? Six shows left? Wow, it's happening so fast, which means it's time for that beloved Tonight Show tradition. It's time for 12 Days of Christmas Sweaters. Here we go. 12 Days of Christmas Sweater. Six days left. That is right. Every show between now and Christmas will be giving one lucky audience member a bewitching Christmas sweater. <laughs> From the countdown to Christmas cabinet, it's bewitching. <laughs> now, since there are six shows left, let's open door number six. Yes. Good. Let's see it. <laughs> wow. Oh, all right. Oh, my goodness. I think I, I think I already have that one. That is gorgeous. Can we see? Is there a back to it? Well, that's a yeah. cape. Yeah, that you, it's kind of caped. Capey. Yeah, it's very capey, that one. Yeah. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. I actually, I would totally, uh, I would totally give that away. Uh, let's see who is going home with tonight's Christmas sweater. Everyone, look at your seat number. If I call your number, come on down. Quest, can I get a drum roll, please? Make sure you know it's random. One thirty-six. Where you are? Oh, come on down. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Oh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, what is your name and where are you from? Zadie, and I'm from here in New York. Hey, Zadie from New York. Come on, Zadie. Thank you for being here. First of all, I appreciate it. Uh, uh, do, do you have anything like this? Um, no, this is the first one of these that I get. Wow. So this, yeah, I think it might be the only one. <laughs> Would you mind trying it on? Yes. Uh, this is Zadie is going to try it on everybody. Ruth, can I get some trying on music? Zadie, this is going to uh, delight not only you, but others. Uh, if, you, uh, if you Zoom, uh, call anyone, it's very easy to put on. Not, Zadie, it's almost perfect like that, but don't rush. Zadie, this. <laughs> It's, oh, 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 wow, oh, we did it, yes! That is what I'm talking about, Zadie, take a spin. Oh, is that not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Thank you so much to our lucky audience member. Stick around, we'll be right back with Thank You Notes, everybody. And on and on, uh, I said, and it's on.